Hello everyone, my name is Adredden, and we are back in 7 Days to Die, and uh, yeah, let's build something fun here. Okay guys, so today is the day we're finally going to build the sort of bridge slash walkway over top of this here crazy uh, gap. I believe this is 24 wide, um, and I've done a bunch of calculations and whatnot. So let's go check those out. Go to the computer up here and take a look. All right, guys, so we are up at the top here of this section. This is the, the part we're going to bridge. So let's take a look at it on the computer. Let me just get settled in here. Okay, guys, after a little bit of remodeling, I have think I've got myself pretty much positioned right. Let's turn on the monitor and uh, I'll show you exactly what I've been planning. All right, guys, I've fired up uh, Sketch up here, and let's uh, hopefully get this uh, so I can show you what's going on. So, um, what is going on here is that this is the street here, the one that we're going to work on. So these are the two buildings. The uh, Dragon's Maw is right here, but uh, I'm not going to worry about it right now because it's not important what we're doing. We are building a bridge from this rooftop over to this rooftop. Okay, I'll go into more detail uh, in a few minutes, um, but one of the things we're going to do here is talk about structural integrity. So these blocks here all have something called structural integrity, and we have uh, each one of these weighs 10. And so, for example, um, these ones sort of right here, here, and here, um, they each weigh 10, but they are not supported all the way to bedrock, whereas these ones all are, in theory, supported all the way to bedrock, minus maybe some holes down below that I don't know about. Uh, hopefully it all works out. Um, at any rate, because these weigh 10, the blocks beside them have to take up the weight, right? That's how it works. So, to build this bridge, the cross here, we need to do something fancy and make sure that if we want machiculations going across these this entire bridge, plus maybe um, you know a walkway up here, we have to make sure that we pay attention to this. So let me just talk about um, the amount of weight each one of these blocks can hold, because each one we know these ones are worth ten. So let's uh, go to the next little bit of this presentation here. Okay, so uh, here is the value of what they all, right? Or what they, what each face can kind of hold, right? So each one of these faces can hold 120 weight on them before it shears off of them. Uh, so brick and concrete are all the same. They're just, I guess, a stone-based block that has that value. And we are going to do something fancy because we're going to use trussing. So I will bring that up now. All right, guys. So if uh, we replace these concrete blocks here with trussing instead, we get different values. Instead of the 120 max weight limit on each one of these, we get 320. So 320 for these ones is quite a bit different. So uh, let's see what we can do with this. Um, because you remember how, you know, different types of blocks have different weights. And so, yeah, this is what we have to work with now. And uh, we're doing this many high, so we get uh, a cumulative amount of weight, which I'll show in a few moments. So, yeah, hopefully that should work. So something like this. And one second, guys. All right, guys, so with this all replaced... Um, by taking out all of these other brick blocks, then we get to have this 320 here. And on all of these block surfaces, instead of the, you know, 120, because if you have all 120, you get a max um, shearing strength of 720 weight that can be suspended if you utilize all these surfaces in a way that uh, allows you to you know, support it all. It really depends on what you build off of this, though. Uh, and, yeah, it's complicated. 
but I will get a bit deeper into this in a moment here. But regardless, you um, get to see how, yeah, even just a couple of blocks here, these two blocks here, plus this one, uh, equals 760, which is even more than all of these ones, right? So, you know, it's pretty drastic, the difference here. Um, and we'll get into the weights of these here in a second as well. And yeah, so this is, you know, 1720, 1720 weight that can be suspended off of these blocks here. Um, so that would mean that off of this side here, you know, you can put blocks that weigh, you know, 1720, which would be, well, let's say you're using concrete. From here, you could do 72 blocks. Um, yeah, I guess you could do 100, um, 72 off of this one, which is a lot of blocks. Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> um, now, I am hoping that I get all these right as I'm explaining these to you guys, but uh, we'll see. Uh, any corrections, let me know in the comments, and I will put them in the description. Yes. And uh, possibly in a future video, we'll update them because on YouTube, you can't just update a section of a video. So let's move on to the next stage of this construction. Okay, so here we've added uh, a few of the reinforced concrete blocks. So uh, as you can see, they each weigh 10. And of course, the shear strength was 120. So you have 6 times 10, 60. Uh, and then you subtract, well, I'm doing a little bit of liberalness with my math here <laughs> in terms of negative and positive signs, but, you know, this all in all gives us a value of um, 660 that's left to be suspended off of these new surfaces rather than, you know, off of these new surfaces rather than these ones here, so... But you have to remember that each each side has the ability to hold the uh, max weight. So each one of these sides can be 120, 120 here, 120 here, on the back sides, etc. So as long as they're supported by bedrock, they can hold that max weight. Well, yeah. So there you go. Okay, now if we'll go over to the truss here. Okay, and so as you can see, trussing weighs a bit more, which is kind of a weird one, considering it weighs as much as some of the other iron-based blocks. Um, I don't know what's up with that. You have to ask the fun pimps. Because uh, it's... Kind of the point of it is that it's sort of hollowish. Anyway, doesn't matter. Move on. So here you can see the 10 from the concrete, and then the 20 from all of these, and that equals 110 but you know it's being supported by truss behind it um back here so that allows it to have a, a roughly about a thousand more carrying capacity than the ones over here did okay so let's start building this up a little bit higher to what i'm going to be building here and then we'll we'll get to what i'm going to be building at the very end Okay, so in the process of building this out, I'm kind of planning on building it about six out. Um, and then we're going to put an archway in here. So what happens here is you start to have, you know, multiple layers here, where we kind of have to worry about these blocks shearing off of there, shearing off of these ones beside them. And so how this starts to add up is a bit different, because, I mean, you know, you have to take all the added weights of all of these ones and figure that out here it's 60 plus all of these ones here yeah so uh, each one of these columns equals a hundred because it's five times 20 and there's six of them so it's 600 and then this here equals 60 so then it's obviously 660 and then you just subtract your 660 from your total weight and you end up getting the about a thousand more weight left that you can suspend off of this particular configuration, right? And so 
that's just each one of these blocks supporting all these ones beside it here. And if we add another layer here, and change the background to something a bit more fitting, um, we end up getting something more like this here. So this time we only have two on all of these, and I've also elongated it out a little bit here, so... Um, starting basically down here, we've added sort of a stepping um, process to kind of bring it out, to kind of give it the basic shape of the arch we're going for here. Um, honestly, I think I will bring this down uh, another level because I want a full walkway here. I want it to be able to support the machiculation. So we're going to build it like this, and then I'll add the other stuff below it later and add some more supports along the walls. I just wanted to kind of do a little bit more of an extreme example here, and I hope it all works out as I build it. <laughs> it's always a little bit finicky, and you got to do it in the right order, otherwise things could go bad. You can't just build all of these out and hope that, and then add machiculations and hope that it works, and then add this stuff down here. You got to build all of it in a particular, in a particular supported way, so that it all holds up. Or you can put trussing, or not trussing, well yeah, trussing or support underneath to hold it all up and then remove that <laughs> and yeah, cross your fingers. Uh, anyway, so each one of these weighs 20, but now it's uh, it's 12 long. Uh, and 12 long is actually the maximum you can get for these um, concrete blocks. And if you were to stand on this last one, uh, I believe it would fall off. Well, uh, no, actually, I think I'm thinking of trussing. Trussing is a bit different, where you can get right up to the uh, six. You can put 16 on, but if you stand on the 16th block, it falls off. Uh, it must be some sort of weird rounding thing or something within seven days to die. I don't know. It's it's weird, finicky. But by doing it like this, you you add extra support, and so what ends up happening is these outer blocks here actually on this surface are supported. A little bit more by this one down here and then of course all of these blocks are supported by this other set of blocks down here which as you can see have a lot um, more carrying capacity as you go by right yeah they're, they're not even close to their 320 max load each one is quite quite different so uh, but at any rate, when we go to these numbers, um, on this farther set here, we get 700 as the value uh, that we could support more weight with. And then on this one here, we have 860. So you could put on these blocks all the way out here um, something that supports 700 plus 860 uh, so that all of these surfaces kind of have to be a little bit careful where you add them because that you have to take into account the shearing of every single block and you also get odd effects so I guess I didn't talk about why I replaced these blocks here um, with other blocks um, let's just go to the next slide and I'll try to explain it as well anyway um, yeah, so if we kind of zoom in here, we get to see that uh, I've kind of, this is one of the original ones, and on this particular row, these would all be normally this reinforced concrete, but it only has a supporting weight of 120. So if you were to attach even a lot of this trussing to the side of it, it wouldn't take the max value of the 320 and apply it inward it would take the 120 and apply it outward. So you would only be able to put, um, well, I guess you would max be able to put these five here on top of this 120. And if you were to add this one here, they would start to fall off. So that's where the kind of the problem comes in and it would shear off, I believe, right on the concrete base. So that's why I took these out and replaced them with truss and that helps that out so yeah okay and so now we're going to go into something a little bit different here um 
So off of this, primarily I guess what would be sort of supported on this side, but we're doing it, of course, facing the street on the outside of the castle, we're adding uh, crenellations and, you know, with their machiculations. So I've done sort of this as a unit, and there's 15 cement blocks in this. Uh, you could go with iron bars in here, but the way the game works, the, the guy character does not fall through this half meter hole here, but these provide you with extra sub, um, basically durability, because uh, you can get them all the way up to polished steel, um, which would give you a ton of hit points. Um, but yeah, you could go with iron bars, I, and really they both kind of offer you the same protection. Um, and because yeah, you get your full protection, you get your half coverage, and if you are down here at the base uh, of the wall, this guy will be able to shoot you. <laughs> so that's sort of his purpose there. But if you're further away, um, you won't really be able to see him. And, you know, maybe it's top of his head, but that's why we have these full ports as well. So, um, let's go up over and to rotate this around a little bit. Anyway, the because there's 15 of them and they each weigh 10, that gives us a total of 150 for each one of these. So we have to count for that as we build this kind of bridging structure. Um, and we have to take special precautions down below to uh, make it all work a little bit better here, but uh, that's okay. Anyway, let's add another one of these ones here. Just take a look at the numbers real quick. Okay, so this is pretty much how this plays out. It's pretty much exactly the same as it was. You'll once again have the uh, 1720 here for the max load, and it'll end up being able to carry roughly 700 with these extra support blocks on it, plus whatever is given to us by having this middle row here kind of able to take up a little bit extra support. Um, yeah, so let's add in this concrete row. Okay, so here you can see that uh, we have all of these ones in here, and you can see their weights are 10, so they're actually a little bit different. Once again, this is pretty much at the maximum each one of these columns can support. So if you were to try to add machicolations and crenellations, basically these, um, you know, defensive features to the castle, if you had this alone, it would, like, just these three, row, three, three, three rows, they would just fall off as soon as you added anything else to them because they can't support anything else. So do that. They have to either rely on a little bit of extra uh, support from below, which is what these ones do. They just kind of, you know, take the weight and basically, yeah, once again, these ones here channel all their force into these ones and thus these ones into this one, this row, and down into this row. So you end up having a lot more support because each one of these uh, gives you the extra, right? This basically can hold twice as much, uh, which is pretty much, this one can pretty much support one of these ones all by itself. Not quite, but it's getting there. So I, I would suspect, you know, just quickly in my head, uh, that this here will be able to support at least one of these units somewhere out here, and they'll be pretty much fine. But, you know, Anyway, we end up getting, yeah, to have a 150 left, yeah, over here that we could support somewhere. Probably not all the way out here, but maybe on one of these three columns. So, but we need more, so that's why we rely on this row here, which has the 700, right, um, that could support um, two and a bit more on this, and it's... 12 so we need three of these so i think this row and this row by itself could actually support all of them and of course i think when i build this it's not going to be aligned perfectly right so that might be another little problem but we'll see how that works because if this one here has an extra block on it here it might cause issues but i think i've over engineered it enough yeah, I think these ones, because this is, should be, if there's three of them on here, then it'll be 450. 
and the total for this here is 850 so there should be lots of extra weight bearing between this chunk and the trussing behind it uh, but you know I have to keep in mind that there'll be a walkway underneath uh, I might put in you know different sloped blocks in here just to allow for a better curve and then uh, I don't know some sort of protection on the underside of this because these are very weak and fragile but you know put steel or polished steel blocks underneath eventually not worried off the bat but eventually just so that uh, the trussing doesn't take so much damage say someone were to fire a rocket launcher or a tank was to shoot at it from a distance it would be a little bit more stable whilst still giving uh, the ability to run between these two walls anyway well, let's move on from there all right so here's uh basically what we need to do this is the one half of this archway and like i said i'm probably gonna actually after this is built uh, take this floor here and add basically just make the arch this whole pattern down here instead that way i can have a fully protected walkway uh, that has a little bit of extra support underneath it sort of engineer over engineering it but we're gonna do it a little bit more risky just for the build um but yeah once again you can see that all of these weigh 450 and these ones all are 10 these are all 10 so then that kind of gives us these numbers here which give us each one of these you can see what they weigh and then you subtract that and this is what you have left for additional support and so you have your 150 and your 700 and that equals 850 minus the 450 from these crenellations giving us 400 more to play with actually which is pretty cool um because yeah you could put more weight under here and to be honest i will probably also bring this out three so that i can build a moat or maybe even four so it overhangs a, a moat whether it's besides the dragon's maw anyway that's basically i think what that is going to be about and now let's uh, go and see what this here structure will look like when it is fully bridged across to this building here and so this is what it should look like down below minus the dragon's maw um and so yeah we have all this stuff here but yeah like i said i'm gonna bring this out on this floor come up and over that way the walkway is protected and we have more even more support but yeah if you were this close you would have to worry about these guys um firing down on you um but if you were further away you'd be all right so and from sort of up here we get this sort of appearance here there's our character and you know depending on where they are they can be hiding uh one slightly better design for this would be to actually have and it's a little bit tough to do in seven days to die because you have to choose either big bigger bulkier blocks with arrow slits in the middle which is better yeah it's it's better uh or um i don't know these beefier looking crenellations that i kind of like uh yeah because i don't know you get to see pretty well down through them down to the ground and um yeah but that's basically it it seems to hold up pretty well and at some point we'll replace all these blocks with uh, the reinforced concrete and then upgrade that to or not well we may upgrade it i guess in the entire span of the uh, the castle it would get upgraded to polished steel i guess if you, you were rich enough and lived long enough uh but we'll probably just paint it white as a good castle should be so um that's pretty much it let's get started on the build Okay, during that time I had these things uh, cooking up, so we'll come back for more of them. These are for spikes, so I've been working on the uh, ball pit moat area, so we need to get these spikes all happening. Oh <laughs> man, it'll make so few. Ah well, we'll uh, 
keep cranking out more. So let's um actually I need some cement. Let me just gather all the stuff I need and then I will see you over there in just a moment. Okay, I've got one round of stuff ready, I hope. So we'll get up here and get working on stuff. Actually we can probably go Yeah. This floor here. Watch out though. Do I have let's use some of the just sorta of give us a little bit more protection. Against things. Sometimes those zombies, they like to sneak up on you. Uh, let's put two here as well. There we go. Okay. Yeah, I started doing this a little bit, um, I don't know, a while back. And, um, yeah, we certainly need to pull off all of these till we get to exactly what we were looking at in the other model. So let me just pull out all this stuff. Yeah, screamer decimated, and now we have to put in the trussing. I don't think you can paint trussing, which is kind of unfortunate because um, I kind of wanted it to look a bit nicer. Um, oh well, that's okay. So, uh, we're gonna go out a bit further here. There. And yeah, I guess we'll end up coming around on the top side to replace the other parts of it. So. Ah. <laughs> Feel sketchy doing that. Yes, yeah, so we are at two. Three. Four. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. So there's the six there. And like I said, I'm gonna go and um change the way that it's laid out so that things are a little bit better but I really do want to build it like this for now just to show you guys sort of exactly how that whole structural integrity thing matches up right I think this will be pretty quick um on this side that side will be a little bit tricky too mm, but it'll be okay let's put that there we have should have lots of weight always unfortunate when I screw up little Placements, but you know, glad as it happens to everybody. So let's now continue on putting these out. Okay, so we have many of those in. Why am I feeling so cold? That's a bit weird. Okay, anyway, we'll uh, lay down this row here and get that. Done and so far, yeah, everything should be okay, right? Nothing too much extra weight here. I think what I'm gonna do for the actual build part is build the entire bridge out of the trussing first, and then from there we will go and add the concrete later, which is gonna be interesting trying to do this outer wall part, but um, you know, them mischiculations need to happen. Yeah, I think I'm going to go over to this other side here and build this up uh, to the, you know, the six kind of point. Okay, guys, we are over here, so let's, um, <laughs> let's take this part apart. I think I made some guys mad. Well, I guess I'm going to have to deal with them, so... Until I discover some sort of plant or substance that uh, deters zombies. Oh, there they are. All right.
right, so we put our trussing in the exact same way over here. Uh huh. Da -da -da -da. I might make some sort of double hallway. I'm not sure. It doesn't really match up with the stairs over there, though, so it's kind of a tough one to do. But. One. So there's that. So, yeah, like I was saying earlier, the supports should go out from the uh, supported trussing. And I think that's going to be 100% fine. Okay, there's the initial six right there. Well done on both this side. Uh, and this is where I guess it gets a bit crazier. Um, I guess I'll leave the rebar walkway in for now. Kind of messes with my design, but until I put the cement on, I don't think it's a problem. We'll just get all this built. Yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. Always interesting trying to build these weird and wacky shapes. Alright, so we want to go up one, so it'll be this one here. So we can start top and come down or whatever. Um, I'm going to go here. There. Dang! And uh, do this properly. <laughs> but once again, yeah, we should be able to span this entire thing out of trussing. No problem. Um, right now, this is supported all out there. And should also be able to quite easily support our weight, but... You never know. I always go a little bit sideways when I walk off these things, because, like... It... Me makes it... Mm, Probably a little safer uh, because I don't just you know move suddenly quite far forward. Um, that's why I kind of do that little weird side angle movement off of this thing. Um, I guess the other way to do this would be to just eat the uh, trussing itself. I'll do one more this way, I guess, and then come back. Because if this breaks. That'd be a bit uh, freaky. Put that many. In, 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 and we have two, so I think that's kind of actually all right. Okay. Pull all these back. Great. Wasn't really planning on doing this at night, but hey. Do what you gotta do, right? Um Yeah, so let's go out and see what we can do here. Down, there we go. Okay guys, I've managed to bridge the span just after the morning, so <laughs> okay, I can run all the way across now. So it is bridged, but it is not fully supported underneath the bridge part. So um let me just Okay, good. Um hopefully this is gonna be good. To do it this way. I mean it should be. It is very much over engineered. So, we should be totally fine. I think that's right. Um, not 100% actually, but I think that's right. Okay, so that'll serve pretty much as uh, a nice little base for that. And then now we start to lay over the concrete. I mean, I just have faith in my calculations because I mean I think I did it right but it's still kind of a freaky thing to, to build you know um, these things are very large and resource intensive I mean I got lots of resources from 
digging the moat for this here castle, but, uh, you know, still, it takes, like, the resource of time, and don't always have as much of that as I'd like. Um, so, anyways, I think another thing that is going to happen is I'm going to take a bunch of time away from this series. We'll see exactly how much time and when we'll come back to it, but... Um, I think I'm going to spend a lot of time just building off-camera, that way I don't need to worry about having a specific thing to record, because, for example, I've been waiting on getting this episode out before I can do, like, a lot more building on it, of just other things, which seems kind of silly. Uh, either that or I'll just let you guys know that, you know, things might change, like I might just build that part back up, or who knows what, um, but things will happen as we go here, so... Alright, we have a 100% functional walkway all the way across the street, which is awesome, and it's really quite structurally stable, I mean, it's over-engineered, um, and yeah. Whoa, who's that? Somebody down here. Maybe we can snipe them from over here. Yep. You guys probably should have just stayed where you were. Goodbye. Breaking my stuff. Don't know. Think he's still living? Won't be for long. Well, I think he's dead now. Either that or pretty close. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go down to this little uh, catwalk thing I've made. Kind of like a hoarding, but uh, it's not. We're gonna just place these out here. That way, once we get these done, we can go ahead Free keys too. Everything about this build is just like freaking me out because it's just such a large expanse here. There's Screamer. There we go. Um, yeah, just because like, just so freaky being up here without. 100% guarantee that this is just gonna work, you know? So. At any rate, this is the process of getting this done. So, the concreting. So I'm gonna just do this whole wall up and then I'll just cut back. I know this is just going to be a lot of redundant stuff that don't really have a lot to say in, and it's already a long episode with that intro, right? Okay, guys, that is that. That one is done. Freaky, 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 freaky doing that. Now we get to get into all these really um, odd, odd shapes. What was it? It was um, three. I think we'll need those like seven units of machiculations. That's not too bad. Um, let's get some of these started. Because why not? There we go. Get these all upgraded while I can. Okay, um, I'm gonna lay out these while things build, I guess. So, yeah, I'll be right back. This is gonna be a bit different than this one too. That's okay. Okay, well I made a bunch of blocks. I think I thought of that the right way. I don't know. We'll see for sure. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There we go. Woo! Okay, let's uh, get those started. Yeah, because I, I really want to get more and more of this base done. Um, I think if I just power through it without um, 
throwing much of it off until kind of the, near the end or just you know occasional updates i think things will go way faster so that's sort of my thoughts on that actually i may keep this just because i might need some uh, walk walking spots uh where do i want to start this Go into advanced. This is the one we need. So we'll go put all these in. I may just go do that because it's a bit of a tricky placement, and who knows, it may take a couple moments to get placed right. Oh. Okay, so there's that, and then... Ooh, uh, a couple of other strange things. I guess we need this one. Put that into advanced rotation and try to get it like that. All right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. One thing that I think would be really cool would be to have it so that as you were building things. If things were getting like close to breaking there was like a creaking and groaning that happened just to kind of give you a warning that one uh, as to like because right now like right I put down a block and if it was close as you go right something to just to let you know that <laughs> you're kind of maybe pushing your luck and maybe hey think about things and I idea here okay so there's that um i'm still waiting on ah oh, there we go the quarter blocks let's just build one of these matriculations and then i'll finish the rest and then go down to the well we'll just take a good look at it oh dang it oh two. Okay, so you put these here, and you know, despite the fact this is supposed to be like half a meter wide, it's like you don't fall through it. So, um, there's that. Um, that's fine. I mean, just the way it is. Um, then I think we want, as long as we find what we want here. That. And I think we're gonna take this out of here just so we can get this done a little bit faster. We're gonna copy this one's rotation, put these out like that, this, that, then uh, we copy that rotation, put this here, um, find the right rotation for this. like that and there you go that is one unit of matriculations and crenellations so yeah in theory you know you'd be able to shoot an, an approaching army coming down this way um really this only kind of covers up a little bit of the space lots of which you could cover from kind of down here right because uh, there's the shadow there yeah we're just barely at the shadow there and we can see Uh, you know, let's find a different landmark, maybe. Yeah, this part right here, you can see that shadow. And you can definitely see it over here. So, you know, this works pretty well. Um, so I'm going to just go ahead and finish up all these real quick, and then we'll take a look from down below. Okay, guys, it wasn't uh, that crazy, and it actually works really well. I can jump up and down on it, and it works. 
So, thank goodness. I am glad that the whole calculations worked for this thing. Um, that really makes me quite happy. So here is that view that we saw earlier uh, in the video. There it is. So that's that. It worked. Hooray. <laughs> So yeah, like I said, I will, um, in my spare time here, bring out this level, go up here. Those are dogs. Jeez, already. Wow. Okay, <laughs> anyway, I'm going to build a walkway up on this floor, on the top floor, after I encase this bottom floor with the same kind of archway. So on this line, it'll go up and then bring it over. At any rate, if you guys enjoyed this episode, hit the like button. Uh, give me some comments on how the whole video seemed, because, you know, I, I tried to bring something different into it. I'll keep playing with that media probably in some way, depending on how I feel after editing and the whole video goes out and everything. Because it's, you know, quite the process to do that, though I think I understand it a lot better now. So yeah, anyway. That's all good and happy. And we now have our matriculations and crenellations on this particular battlement. So, in theory, we could even hunt those dogs, which are... Da, 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 da. What was that? Oh, just a porch. Dogs were over there, but I guess they're all gone now. See, so you could totally hunt them and you'd be fine, and uh, yeah, it's all good. Um, so yeah, there you go, guys. Anyways, um, yeah, if you liked the episode, hit the like button, comment. If you're new to the channel and like what you see, want to see this castle get built, because, well, that's one of the things that will be happening, um, hit the subscribe button. And if you want to support the channel even more, head on over to Patreon and uh, take a look there. Um, for now, though, I will say see you guys in the next episode, and bye-bye.